Hello, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be looking at how to decide if something is a parameter or a statistic, which really boils down to is the discussion on a population or is it talking about a sample? So just as a quick reminder, <clears throat> when you talk about a population, it has numbers referring to it, which we call, I can spell, I promise, parameters. And when we talk about samples, numbers referring to it are called statistics. Now, this is the sum or the part or the subset type group. So it's not the entire group. Whereas with the population, it's all whole, entire. So those are the type of keywords that we're going to be focusing on when we look at these 10 different scenarios. So starting out, a survey of 88,034 American households found that 43% watched some type of professional sport. So here's the number and here is the group. So is that an all whole entire group or is that a number that's quite obviously less than the population? Well, there are more uh, <clears throat> than 88,000 households in America. So this is going to be a sample. So this smaller group right here is a sample, which means that the number referring to that group, this number is a statistic. All right, next one. The GSS asks questions of a sample of Americans. Now already it's telling us it's a sample of Americans, which means that the number we get here, 67% is the number referring to that sample. So this is also a statistic. So because that is referring to a sample, it's a statistic. Next, if we have uh, AB and how fat his pigs are, the average number of pounds is what he's going to be measuring. He has a total of 25 pens and 10 pigs in each pen. And so that means that the total would be 250. He randomly selects 35. So that number is smaller. So the weight for those 35 pigs is going to be a statistic because this 35 is smaller than the total of the 250. So that number would refer to the sample and therefore it's a statistic. Next, we have the amount of money spent by all GBSU students on clothes. Now here you see that word all. And so I know that this number here and this number here are both parameters. Remember a parameter is a generic term and they're both parameters because both of them refer to this group, which is a population group, because it says the word all. So parameter is just a number referring to the population. Both that mean and that standard deviation are parameters because it's referring to the population of GBSU students. Next, we have a sample of 2,314, and I just gave it away. But we know that the GBSU student body is over 30,000, so that means that this is a smaller group, so that's a sample, which means this number here is a statistic because it's referring to that smaller group. So here we have a population of all GBSU residents, 53% said that they would participate in Art Prize. So we know that this is a population, because it says it, but it also says the word all, which means that this 53% is a parameter because it refers to that population. Next, we have time to complete for all Americans. 
And so the time is said to be for all Americans, 8.4 as an average, standard deviation of 1.74, or excuse me, 1.7. These are both parameters because we are referring to the all Americans, which means that's a population, and that makes the values referring to that group uh, parameter. So then we have 1,526 randomly selected GBSU students. That is a smaller number than the entire population. So this would be a sample, which means this 80%, because it's referring to a sample, is called a statistic. Next, we have a survey of 1,900 randomly selected. That means that's smaller than the population. So that's a sample. So this number here is a statistic. It's referring to the smaller. And then percent of all GBSU students, because it says the word all, or remember any synonym to that, that percentage that they find is going to be a parameter because it refers to the population. Now, if I said that that was equal to 77%, sometimes students struggle with seeing a number that's less than the population size or not 100% because they think, well, that's a subset, so that's a sample, so that's going to be a statistic. No, it's a number referring to the population. So the percent of all GBSU students well, automatically, that's going to probably be some number other than 100%. So it's the number referring to it. It's not the fact that that doesn't include the all, whole, or entire. So hopefully that helps you to understand parameters and statistics a little bit better. I'll see you in future videos.